All right, quick PSA before we get started. We have two brand new variations of the Jerry Rig Everything Knife, an official LTT Orange, which is the last thing Linus commissioned as CEO. Once he saw it, he realized his decision making had peaked and he quit his entire job. True story. So grab one while you can to honor Linus's legacy. Another wise man has said that we should matte black everything, so we did. We have the strangest rainbow of colors to choose from, all 15 bucks at jerryrigknife.com. Or if you're in Canada, Linus is now carrying the entire selection on his website, lttstore.com. So if you're in Canada, you can skip all the import fees by ordering from him directly. Both of those links are down in the description. And as always, thank you for supporting the channel. Today we are going to review the new $1,000 headphones from Dyson that also have air purification built in, pulling air in through the ear holes and spitting them out near the mouth hole. You might be thinking that this is stupid or perhaps the dumbest piece of technology you've ever seen, but Tesla would disagree. Let's get started. So you might not know this, but the Tesla Model X has something called a bioweapon defense mode that's designed to keep out biogas and particulates from inside the cabin. Pretty bold claim. You might be asking, how does this work? Since if the cabin was airtight, the passengers would just die. Let me show you. The secret to Tesla's bioweapon air filtration system is the massive air filter here behind the front trunk. Yes, it cleans the air, but the amount of air flowing through to pressurize the cabin is also important to remember. With all the air flowing through the front vents, there's no way anything bad from the outside can get in. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. Tesla's not the only one using overpressure to keep air clean. Woodworkers, chainsaw carvers, and stone sculptors have been using powered air purifying respirators for the past decade, since the additional airflow makes it feel like you're not breathing through a mask. They're more comfy for long hours of work. This shield, of course, is for grinding and wood chip protection, but the mask itself, since it has the airflow, doesn't necessarily have to be sealed. NASA realized this while building the Hubble and James Webb telescopes. As long as overpressure is present, an airtight seam is not required for a purified environment. Obviously, this is an industrial mask for industrial situations, but on a consumer level, I hate to say it, but Dyson might be onto something. However, just because NASA, Tesla, and 3M all use overpressure filtration does not mean these Dyson headphones are any good or are on par with NASA quality. What we have learned, however, is that while air filtration is important, air pressure is more important. -er. I'll show you how they work from the inside in a second, but notice this vent right here. Magnets keep this shield in place on both levels, and then it can press in against my face, creating a seam along the bottom lip. So all of the air comes out through this vent here. There is definitely an overpressure situation happening and science is doing its job no matter how ridiculous it may look. This all hinges, of course, on if the air being blown in is filtered and cleaned up first. So let's see how that looks on the inside. The very plastic Dyson visor isn't doing much of anything. Just a couple of magnets holding on a hollow extendo tube that has some screen door mesh near your mouth and nose. It's definitely not producing a powerful stream of air by any means. There's such a gentle amount of air flowing from the mask, it could very well be disturbed by an outside breeze. But if you're on a bus or public transport, it could probably hold its own. You can hear the air if you listen closely. The spinning fans are also visible through the transparent window. The outer grille of the Dyson headphones is made of metal. Spinning that off, we can see the replaceable air filter, which looks incredibly similar to the Tesla air filter because it is similar. This guy removes 99% of pollutants and goes as tiny as 0.1 microns. To be fair, the Tesla filter removes 99.97% instead of just 99, but a Model X is also like 100 times more expensive. Both filters have carbon layers to help remove odors, 
But remember, these filters deal in the 0.1 microns of size, and the molecules that trigger smell are 0.0004 microns, so smell will keep passing through all day long, like sand in a pasta strainer. There are six T4 screws surrounding the outer edge of the fan. Taking that out, we can see Dyson got creative with the suspension system. Fans can vibrate, especially while moving your head. But Dyson's attached some rubber bands to the clear plastic slats, which helps suspend the fan, keeping it isolated and protected from the music and its own vibrations. I'm a big fan of that. The fan does its spinning, pulling air in through the purification filter and spits that clean wind out of the rubber boot, towards your mouth. Not too shabby. Now, finding the speaker driver was fairly interesting. The massive beanbag-sized ear cushions can just spin off, with quite a lot of mesh material in the middle. If Dyson ever ends up failing out of the headphone business, they would do absolutely amazing making luxury furniture for hamsters. There are an additional seven screws holding the driver housing in place. And if you're thinking, wow, that's a bit smaller than I thought, you're definitely not alone. Turns out Dyson's speaker only fills up a tiny fraction of the actual ear cup housing. The rest of the space is for circuit boards and buttons. Before we pull out the pitchforks though, I did Google normal headphone speaker sizes and the 40mm speaker in the Dyson Zone is very on par with the 40mm driver in the AirPods Max, as well as the 40mm driver in the Bose Quiet Comforts. So it seems like an industry standard, even though now we know it looks as funny on the inside as it does on the outside. I guess the question, is it worth it for $1,000? And if I had to choose between the hair straightener and Dyson blow dryer or the air purifying headphones, I would probably choose the headphones. If the air outside is turning everyone into zombies, something is better than nothing. But there are also a whole lot of other things I would rather spend $1,000 on. You can save yourself $985 by just getting a Jerry Rig razor knife instead, or get 60 of them, who am I to tell you how to spend 1000 bucks? Either way though, thanks a ton for watching, and I'll see you around.